In her grandmother's arms, Kinsley McMillan takes in the hustle and bustle of a family fun day. She can't see what's going on. A rare brain tumour diagnosed when she was just five months old has robbed her of her sight. In Forfar, where she lives, the community has taken her to their hearts. The community has been amazing. Like, everyone is so great. Like, see, everywhere you go, like, I get stopped from the shops and everyone knows who Kinsley is. Like, and it's good because today's awareness, obviously. And, like, she is obviously amazing. Like, she's doing really well. Don't you want me? The fun day was organised to raise money for the charity Team Jack, which provides practical, social and emotional support for the families of children with cancer. Two-year-old Kinsley travels to their base in Livingston every week for music therapy sessions. But there are plans to open a facility closer to home. They've developed Kinsley's ability um, for speech therapy, for physiotherapy, for sound development, for her overall well-being, for happiness, for some enjoyment in life. They've provided music therapy and play therapy for um, Kinsley's brother Freddie. And there hasn't been an ability to find that within our own local authority. So it really is one of its kind. It's quite a distance to travel if you're from, say, Inverness or even north. Um, so the hub um, that will be replicated will be in Aberdeen to create a hub in Kinsley's legacy. Kinsley coming to music therapy, I mean, they travel an hour and a half every Friday down to Livingston, but the smiles and the absolute way that that wee girl responds to Angelique, our music therapy, Karen has said, you know, the value of that. However, if she had something similar in Aberdeen, it would be half her journey every week. So, as I say, we are really, really uh, raising the momentum to get one open in Aberdeen before the end of this year. Kinsley had a major operation in January to remove 80% of the tumour. In the coming weeks, she'll have an MRI scan, which will determine her next course of treatment, which could include inhibitor drugs. This is the best I've ever seen her. Like, honestly, like, she's doing amazing. She's rolling over and, like, she's saying hi. So, like, and, like, from when she was born, like, you never expect her to, to be where she is today. The local community have been... Um, Effective, um, supportive, loving to Kinsley. Um, and I think without that love, um, if love was enough, Kinsley would be here for eternity. Um, without that love and support, I'm not sure how strong we would be able to cope with this as a, as a family. Susan Nicholson, STV News.